In the upcoming episode, there will be a tension-filled situation where Mandu starts to smell betrayal from Arong who is trying to kill. Mandu who looks so worried asks Arong if she believes in the devil's promise and also warns that this is a betrayal. On another different occasion, Mandu even throws sulfur powder at Arong and runs away in fear, feeling like his heart is going to burst, he realizes that Detective Da On is in danger. Meanwhile, on a tense night when Arong confronts Ball, she says that there is a man who disturbs Justitia and asks him to kill the man, who is none other than Da On. With a specific intention Mun Jae intensely approaches Bit Na to find out her true feelings for Da On, how much she likes him, and whether she is willing to risk her life for him. Bit Na says the perpetrator kills different body parts of each victim, which makes her realize that the person is probably Satan. So when Bit Na confronts that person, she confirms it herself and questions if he is Satan and Jay. Dawn accidentally sees Bit Na crying, which triggers his sympathy to find out why she is crying. The tension between Mun Jay and Dawn is unavoidable, as Dawn warns him to stop playing games before he kills him, but Mun Jay yells as if he is belittling him. The two end up getting into a fight that Dawn who is only human can't keep up with. A desperate looking woman comes to the church, begging God for help, which becomes the next chapter in the new case. Meanwhile, Arong, who is impatient with Da On's death, confirms to Mun Jae when he will kill him. Mun Jae then asks her to be patient because he is preparing something interesting. In an unexpected moment, Da On tries to stab Bit Na while asking if she loves him, leading to the assumption that this is part of Mun Jae's plan and that the person is not Da On but Mun Jae who is disguised or possessing him.